farming mono red like we were in Italian on the tomato farm. And we're getting all of these tomatoes and nom 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 eating them all up because that is what we're gonna do today. A good old tomato sauce, my friend. Don't forget the basil. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful freaking thing. God, it's Friday. Friday. So yeah, I have a wonderful day. Also, I want to tell you that if you are one of my gold span dragons or higher members or patrons, you are getting these tokens. Where is the other one? The other one has disappeared. I will be doing it at the end of the month, so all of you still have time to send me your addresses. So please, go ahead, send me those addresses. There's over 40 already of you, so I'm very excited to be writing a lot of freaking letters. There will be just the tokens in there. I don't think that I will be sending you like a personalized letter, you know? Maybe I will I will find out if I will do it. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the angelic army hammering. Oh, we're playing Celesnia and I love Celesnia. Just almost as much as I like to sprinkle a little red in there so I can play Jetmir, but it's not worth it. In today's meta, there's too much freaking removal. But before we get into the deck, hey, have you considered maybe subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already? Zero percent of people watching are subscribed. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But hey, it would help out the channel a lot because we are on our way to 18,000. And as soon as we get there, there will be two giveaways for two of you. So, not only one big, but two medium giveaways for freaking all of you. So make certain. So, but enough with the yammering. Let's get into the angelic army hammering. So here we are. We're playing life gain freaking aggro today with one of my cards that I think is so underrated and people should play it more. Torrents, the fist of the angels. And that is why we're an angelic army, even though we're not only playing angels. You know, we're also playing some elf druids and we're playing some spirit clerics and the Lunark Veterano. But for the rest, all of them are freaking angels. So, Torrents, whenever you cast a creature spell, which is 99% of our spells, well, I don't know math, but I would assume it's 99, you get a little 1-1 one, one human soldier token, which is also not an angel, but it's good enough. And those human soldiers have training. That means if you attack with something that is bigger than them, same as the Torrents itself, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And that is super darn freaking amazing. Just, you know, once the board is full with creatures and you attack and they will all grow. And that is nice, like little plants, you know, and we like that. So, but how do we win? Well, not only with the torrents, we have other ways to freaking win. We're playing the voice of the Blesser today because it is just such a good freaking creature. Still, even though it can destroy it, cut down, but that is why we're playing Tamio Safekeeping, just to keep it safe. And yes, Tamio acting like nothing is wrong here, you know, and then shabam! You got completed. So this creature, you know it. It's been here for the longest freaking time. But let's get over it real freaking quick. Gets plus one, plus one counter each time you gain life. That means if you go Lunak Veterano into freaking Voice of the Blessed, you're getting a one, one counter. Then you play the Gala Greeters afterwards. You get another plus one, plus one counter. And now each creature that you play will make it freaking bigger. And I like that. It's kind of a Timmy card, but I am kind of a Timmy. Other ways to gain life. It's of course the Tamiyo Safekeeping. The Wandering Frickin' Emperor, the Inspiring Overseer that also draws us a card. And oh my lord, don't forget about the Steel Frickin' Seraph. You give this now lifelink, now it provides for itself, which is pretty darn good. So you can also give it Vigilance so that you can play around the Wandering Emperor. Whatever you want to do, my friend, I'm here for you and I will help you through it. So, Soul Partition, just getting rid of whatever they have. Creatures, planeswalkers, enchantment, artifacts, it doesn't matter. Battle? What is a battle? Well, we will find out in the next set, I guess. Tarmogoyf style. So, that is pretty darn good. We can get rid of whatever. We have the wedding announcement to make our creatures freaking bigger. And, you know, get a little 1-1 one -one out of it as well. And talking about making the creatures bigger, bam! Giada in the beautiful freaking art style. So, Giada will make this into a 3-2. And if you have even more angels, it will be even freaking bigger. And it will grow the voice of the freaking blessed. And once all of these things are dead, you know, we just bring down the Sarah Paragon. And then we're good, my friends. Then we're good, because we can just play it all over again and again. And 
Nobody said it, so I'm gonna say it myself again. So that is pretty darn freaking good. And hey, for a little spicy on the sauce, we have the Enduring Freaking Angels. You have Hexproof, so this is pretty good against Mono Red. You have Flying and Double Strike on this creature, so if you put it on a lifelink counter, you know now the Voice of the Blast will grow twice in one single turn. If your life total would be reduced to zero or less, you transform the Angel, your life total becomes three, and then it transforms into the Angelic Enforcer. You still have Hexproof, and its power and toughness are each equal to the life total. And when it attacks, you double your life total. So that is just a freaking amazing. Look at the stacks that it will get. Just oh so many stacking. Because the Steel Seraph will give it lifelink and then shabam! Good luck, Buttercup! As removal, once more we have the Soul Partition, we have the Wandering Emperor that will also grow the Voice of the Blessed. Putting a counter on the Voice of the Blessed also just as a plus one is also pretty good. So that is two counters the moment you play it because you exile something of theirs. And then you put a counter on this. So usually this should already have four counters now and be big enough to fly and have Vigilance and that is super darn good. And we have the Soul Partition and the Aganjo twice. Because you know, it is just a very very good freaking removal and I like it. And in celebration of the Wandering Emperor and the Aganjo we have these very very beautiful lands by Kozindan. Kozindan? I don't even know. Look at them climbing that three! I just realized that now, is that tree ginormous or are those like very tiny people? Well, who knows? Who knows? Not me. We have four brushlands. Brushlands? Okay, and four overgrown farmhands. That is all we have. And that is the deck, my friends. Just remember you can bring this back as well as a phantom, so maybe don't use it with the Sarah Paragon, only if you really have to, because as a phantom now when something gets, you know, gets out of your, gra uh, out of your battlefield, whatever, however it leaves the battlefield, you will gain the life. And that is pretty darn freaking a tasty. Is there anything else to say about this? No. Remember that this also draws you cards if you really want to. So this deck is amazing. It will bring us back into the numbers because we have been way out of there. Way freaking too far away from the numbers for my liking. So thank you also very, very freaking much. I hope you will enjoy this deck just as much as I do. This is the Angelic Army. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those angelic games! I want to say thank you to all of you with your kind words. The dentist wasn't hard at all. I, I just went there and nothing really happened, you know? Opponent's going first. I do not like it, but what am I supposed to do about it? <laughs> at least we have the Lunark Veterano here, you know? That is already pretty darn good. So, these lands, man, they're so pretty. Like, look at how peaceful they are. You cannot even see them, but here you can. There you go. There you go. Beautiful lands, beautiful. All right, what is our opponent doing? Playing mono red, eh? Like, I mean, hey, what do you expect? What do you expect? They're putting on bottom. All right. I mean, we do have, you know, an a-okay -OK hand here. Together with the Tamiyo safekeeping, we can also keep us safe. I wonder why they just went ahead and just played with fire right away. I really wonder why they did that. Yeah, shoot it if you want to. I dare you. I will keep, like, you know, this one up. I, uh, there is no reason to, you know, do anything here. I will just freaking keep it up. And if they want to shock it, go ahead and shock it, my friend. I will Tamio's freaking safekeeping it. Mechanized warfare? Yup, alrighty. All freaking righty. But uh, once more, I think that we're okay here. We're just bringing down a wedding announcement. Now we can even attack in. Beautiful, I love it. And from now on out, we do have the Tamiyo safekeeping to keep us, well, safe, you know? And we're gaining some life back, which is also beautiful. And the festivities, Monastery Swift Spare. And the Squeeb! Why the heck not? You know, why the freaking heck not? Alrighty. So please, game, be cool here. That is very darn cool. I appreciate it a lot. So... There's literally no reason to do anything here. We will just get rid of the Squeeb. And that is already good enough. The Reckless Impulse. Yeah, and of course, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> of freaking course, man. Of freaking course, man. But I think getting rid of the Squee here is way more important than anything. Way more freaking importante. Alrighty. Come on, attack me, bro. Freaking attack me. I'm waiting for you. I am here to take it. Finally, I'm home. 
Holy moly, man. Holy freaking moly. Like, losing the Wandering Emperor here is not even the worst thing that can happen. There's definitely worse things to happen, you know? Alright, we're passing the turn. We still have answers here, you know, and the Tamiyo safekeeping will, well, keep us safe. Go ahead, attack me. Do it. Yes. Freaking yes. Do you have two of those? Of course they do have two of those. Of course they do. I could never not have it, you know? Never. That is just the rule. Oh, they don't. Okay, beautiful. But another Phoenix chick. All right. Are you attacking in, though? Are you now, my friend? You are. The mad lad. The absolute freaking mad lad. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, you know, we're taking four here. I can live with that for now. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just freaking beautiful. Oh, my lord. Okay. So we're giving this one a freaking lifelink, of course. Attacking in. It has vigilance. It is everything we want to see. We're back to ten, baby. We're back to ten. Now nothing can stop us. Nothing will ever stop us. Oh, I'm sorry. You have two of those. I have two of those. Yeah, that's right. That is freaking right. Get out of here, Mono Red. Oh, you thought you could get me? Wanna play live? Get, get your Mono Red monkey paws out of my face, man. We're up against a Megatronic. You are where I want to be. In the numbers. In the numbers. That is our goal for today. We're going first. What is this, Crimis? Come on, man. Come on. All right, Lunark Veterano, you're up. All we need is another white source, which we have more of than green sources, so I hope we can find it. Here comes a mono black try hard. Yep, I told you. How did I know? Well, I mean, look at their sleeves. <laughs> look at their freaking sleeves. All right, at least we know that they don't have anything too good here. And we do have the inspiring overseer to draw something, so I hope we can get there. And I will see you when we get there. All right. So I will be slamming in first. I mean, we want to white weenies right now. <laughs> There's literally no reason to bring down the voice of the blessed, but to get it destroyed by a freaking destroyed target artifact, non-artifact creature, you know? And I would not like that at all. Not at all. All right. So here it comes. I told you, they had a cut down or something. No, infernal grasp. That is good. I like that. Go, my friend, you go. Okay. Graveyard Trespasser. That is slightly annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. You know, I have to say, I'm, I can still live with that. And now we go with the voice of the Blueshed. Just hoping that it survives for one singular freaking turn. If it doesn't, well, too bad for us, isn't it? Too freaking bad for us, isn't it? If they do have the Shadow here, that's okay. Shadowed would be okay. Anything else would not. So please don't have anything that I don't like on Megatronic. Playing the Mono Black with the freaking. Oh, there is a sword in the Murphalers. Okay. Are you making yourself a little vampire? Oh, what are you doing? They're making themselves a little vampire. All right. I can I live with that. Very much so, even. Very freaking much so, even. If you look at what we have here. Like, there's no board wipe they could have that would be annoying, so yeah. Let's attack the Soaring Coon. And the thing is, if they really want to destroy something and get rid of it, they will lose their creature. It could go ahead and, you know, attack my, uh, destroy my Sarah Paragon, but then what? Then freaking what? Oh, please be expensive. Please be expensive. Just have a very expensive spell here. I beg of you, game. They want to do it, but they are afraid. They're freaking afraid. I can sense it from here. Oh, I can. Oh my. Well, that is, that is pretty good, isn't it? If they do have another land here, they can go ahead and do that. But then I can still block them with the Sera Paragonis. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and do that, my friend. Do you even have it? Do you even freaking lift, bro? Or whatever. <laughs> They're thinking about their life choices here. It's a long and tough run to the top. Oh my lord. They're going all in. 
All right, are you attacking in though? You're not. Well, that's weird. This <laughs> just freaking weird. All right, let's do it like this. And now we're bringing down you. So. They invested a lot to do this, you know, and I appreciate it very much. Very darn much, I have to say. But these have training, which is nice. It's not the best, but also not the worst. If they're going ahead and they still want to destroy my voice of the blue acid, well, so be it, you know, so freaking be it. I now have the engine of the ages. All right, well, I'm still gaining life. So, hey, not even that mad, you know? Only a little bit. The ever so slightly. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I will just be attacking in with you here. I mean, we're gaining so much life. What are they ever supposed to do? What are they ever supposed to do? They went all in to get rid of my one voice of the blessed. So I'm all good for that, you know? If they now have the invoke despair, A. Hey, oh no, the horror. Oh, please don't, the horror. So the thing is, I can just bring it back with my Sarah Paragon here. And I don't think that they want to lose their only creature, you know? So that is pretty darn good. That is... Pretty darn good. So, uh, let's go ahead. This doesn't have. Does this have training? It does have training, and we can bring it back. Well, let's go ahead. I wasn't too certain about it, but here I am, being certain about it now. Ooh, another wedding announcement, eh? Yeah, I like that a lot. I have to say. So what's the grand scheme here? Oh, another Invoke Despair! Don't tell me it ain't so! You're really doing this for one card? Yeah, that is all you get. I'm on 31 life, man! All of your Invoke Despairs can go home, man! Eat those pears! Oh no, the horror! <laughs> the absolute horror! Please don't! Oh no! Not my Lunark Veteran! Oh, whatever will I do? Whatever will I do without a you? Oh my, okay! I mean, that's good. You know, that's pretty darn good. I will play this, this. You know, that is still all right. And now we're putting a life gain counter onto you because we can and shabwam. Even drawing the cards for our troubles. I mean, hey, they're pretty doomed, you know. What are they even supposed to do? Mono black, really? Really, mono black? I just am starting right now. Giving it up to my boy, Evil Malone. Hey, mono freaking black. Do you really think you can come into my house? With all of your uh, mono blackness going on today, ain't gonna happen, my friend. A good game, a good game indeed. Yeah, you can pack your things and leave, my friend. Just get freaking out of here. Just get your duffel bag, put in all of your mono black cards and say, hey, it was a nice day for a black wedding. But it wasn't enough, was it now? No, it wasn't. Oh, oh, you think you still have a chance? I admire it. I have to say, I admire that you're still trying, you know? But hey, what good will it do you? Nothing, I tell you. I will just slam in here. Give this one vigilance, because I can. It feels good. And you know what? You know what? Just, just because I don't want you to have anything. Just like, because I'm even alone, man. I'm even alone. Coming over here and, you know, taking over. Okay, you're not taking over, okay? We did, I know. Did, I know. No, you didn't. All right? So, Mono Black tried to come into the house of the master of Mono Black. Good Malone is still the master of Mono Black. Evil Malone over there is the master of Mono White. Just, you know, black and white. Just like Michael Jackson said. Get out of here. Man, it was nice being on the channel for once. Yeah, but I mean, hey. There's a limit to what I allow you to do. No, I'm still in the control here. Are you though? Are you though? And now I'm afraid that I'm not. We're not going first. What is this uncrimus? So we have to do this because, uh, you know, we have three overgrown farmland for whatever reason here. So yeah. Bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. All right. I feel like we're okay here, you know? Sort of okay to okay. Aren't you sure? Okay. I will be going with the Steel Seraph. Just to be mana efficient. Yeah, you can. You can have that. 
You can freaking have that. I shall allow it. Given this one flying, <laughs> just why not, you know? <laughs> what the heck not? So are you a wandering emperor player? Inspiring overseer. That's cheeky, you know, cheeky, to say the very least. Very, very cheeky to say the very, very least. So, now this one gets lifelink. Slams in here. And then my plan works like a freaking peach. Or whatever I want to say here. Now we can even protect our voice of the blue acid, which I like a lot. So. <gasps> Maloney has to sneeze here. Rock the Casper. I don't want you to have that. Not at all. Not in the slightest. You don't get to have this. You just freaking don't get to have this. Nice. <laughs> what even was this? Oh my lord. Is this the police? Yeah. Somebody just... Killed me with laughter, man. But I really called the police. Oh gosh, I'd have to hang up. Police is haunting for me now. <laughs> I can see him in front of my door. <laughs> okay, there's no door over there. <gasps> We're going first. What is this, Kremis? <laughs> Come on, now I, I expect it already, you know? I know that you will be doing it. I'm sorry. You're not, and we both know that you aren't. Oh, mono freaking red, eh? All right, the monastery swift spirit coming down. I hope we do find an answer soon. Because otherwise we will be screwed very soon. And that is all there is to it. So this is pretty good though, because you know, a 3-4 is always pretty, uh, pretty intense for Mono Freaking Red to deal with. Alright. I mean, hey, you know we're going down very hard here. Very darn freaking hard. But this is beautiful. Just freaking beautiful. Okay. Alright, why am I doing it like this? Because uh, if they do have like something to destroy my little 1-1, one, one, we still have another one. Okay, they have all the Phoenix chicks in the world. No problem at all. I can live with that. Uh, the little 1-1 one, one here is here to block. That is all you need to do. All you need to do. Alright, here comes a good old blocker. You know, I have to say, this Sarah Paragon is a good old blocker. If they don't have two shocks for my face, well then they're kind of sad, aren't they? Freaking aren't they? And all I need to do is to block efficiently. Okay, two Kumanos, two Phoenix, all of that shabwang. All right, I will be getting rid of you here. Go ahead, lightning strike it. I still have enough to, uh, you know, get rid of it. All righty, all freaking righty. Oh, this is very darn good. Very, very darn freaking good. Okay, so I will be going with the life gain here. And uh, then I will be going with the plus one. Yes. All right. So we're still in it, my friends. We're still freaking in it. The reckless impulse, yo. Another reckless impulse. Okay, I can live with that for now. For now. I can't double... Oh, the end of festivities is brutal here. Freaking brutal. If they're going to go with that, well, then we're like a little bit saddened, but only ever so slightly. They are going with it. Okay. All right. So. I will be blocking here like this, getting rid of you. I will be blocking here like this, and now we're still kind of fine, you know? Not perfectly fine, but kind of. Kind of still freaking fine. Because we still have the Sarah Paragon here, you know, we're getting rid of the whole freaking board. Are you, are you still here? Are you Mono Red? Mono Red, my friend! Are you still here? I just realized that their name is literally Boo! They literally have Boo in their name. I don't know why they attacked in here. I don't know why. And now we're doing a new thing. Oh, no, we're not doing a new thing. I was just thinking, are we doing the new thing where I would cut out when my opponent just leaves and uh, not be dancing all day long? Well, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Oh, I forgot that all of these will be getting out of here. All right. But you know, we're still fine. Uh, vigilance, why not? We're still okay, you know? Okadoka, Artichoke. I don't think that they have a shock. If they had a shock, 
They would have used it already. Okay, what are you using here this time? Will it be a lightning strike? Do they even have a lightning strike? They do not have a lightning strike. Oh, they do have a lightning strike. Okay. <laughs> they do have a lightning strike. I shall eat my words. I shall eat them. Like a little snack. Okay. Alrighty, my friend. If you don't have a shock, though... We live. We live another day. Oh, my lord. They don't have a shock. This is just beautiful. So beautiful! And every single way! Oh! Oh my lord! We're going back to age! What are you even supposed to do here? I have a Sarah Paragon with 6-7, man! 6-7! The Monastery Swift Spear? <laughs> not good enough! Oh! Oh, not good enough! And good game, my friend! Get out of here! We're farming Mono Red like we were in Italian on the tomato farm! And we're getting all of these tomatoes and nom 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 eating them all up because that's what we're gonna do today. A good old tomato sauce, my friend. Don't forget the basil. We're not in the numbers yet, but oh my lord, you a real angel. I forgot that you existed. Oh my lord. Long freaking time no see, you real angel. And you're playing the mirror. Okay. Well, that's... It's okay, I don't mind it. <laughs> Please don't play red as well. Because then we all know what you are. Oh, the Reckoner Bank Booster. Okay, we're a little bit slow here, but uh, I think that that is still alright, you know? Okay. Alright, we all know what you are. We all know what you are, my friend. Yeah, counter it, go ahead, I don't mind. Oh, I mind because you exiled it. Come on, as if you knew I had a Sarah Paragon here. Oh, what even is this shenaniganery? What even is this? <laughs> Do you have another dissipate in hand? Do you have it? Oh, it doesn't look like you have anything here. And that is always good. But they are the, um, you know, this... Um, oh, yeah, remove it. Go ahead, cut it all down. They are a, you know, whatchamacallit, a um, farewell kind of deck. So we have to be careful, you know? Oh, the Teferi. All right, it's getting dangerous, my friends. It's getting a little dangerous. Not gonna freaking lie about that. So let's make ourselves some, uh, whatchamacallum, some treasures. Alright, we're drawing a lot of land here, which I really don't appreciate too much, game. I have to say, there's things that I appreciate, but this is none of them, you know? None of them. Alright, they do have the farewell here, one bajillion freaking percentiles. Here it comes, the Borg Wipe. No, they're just going for the throat. All right. Go for the throat, my friend. Do it. Freaking do it. That an interesting fact. Did you find something? I mean, hey, it's Esper Planeswalkers, you know, and we were just a little bit too slow. Just ever oh so slow. You have another cut that... Come on, man. <laughs> really? That is some waste of, you know... Of good things that you maybe would not want to waste here. Hello! Hello! I appreciate it. <laughs> here comes the counter spell. Or another freaking cut down, you know? Or go for the throat or whatever it's called. We have to go for the Teferi here. We have to. There's no way around it. No freaking way around it. Yes, you're not joking around. No, I'm not joking around. Uh, I will make myself treasures, because you never know. You know, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, alright. So, if they don't have the board wipe here, we do have a small insignificant chance. If they do have a board wipe here, we're screwed. You know, we're utterly freaking screwed. If they have Wandering Emperor, we're screwed. Farewell, we're screwed. You know, there's so many things that would just freaking screw us right away. And I don't want to see any of them. Freaking none of them. I mean, once more, as I said, we were just a little bit too slow. Oh, how many more of those do you have? Boo on you, sir. Boo on you. Okay, I mean, it's a creature matter. What do I expect? What do I even expect? We're making another spirit. Knowledge is meant to be shared. We're making another spirit, but that also means they don't have a wandering emperor coming up for us, you know? I like that a lot. Okay, I will be blocking here. There's literally no reason not to. 
think they have another go for the throat? Do you think they have it? Or a cut down? Or whatever? Yeah, of course. That is three of them. Nice. Nice. Just three of them, you know? Just good old three go for the throats in the first 17 cards. Um, Putting a counter onto you now. You never know when you need it. So oh, please give me the one thing that I need here. The one thing I need is the uh, dude. You know, the, the, the card that... Uh, that exiles. That is the one thing that I really want here. And what do I get? Another land. A beautiful. Oh, so ever so beautiful. Come on, game. I have more lands than they have in less cards. In less cards. They have seven lands. I have nine lands. A uh, six lands. They have six lands. I have nine lands. And okay, there's seven now. But I have drawn like, you know, three less cards than they have. That is just absurd, man. Just absurd. Like, there's so many things that would help me here. So many. And I just have... All I can do is to attack this Teferi, you know? All I can freaking do is to attack this freaking Teferi. And now they even have the wandering freaking Emperor. I can guarantee you that much. That they freaking have it. I mean, we will try our darndest. We will try our freaking Durndest, but our Durndest ain't gonna be good enough. Here comes the Wandering Emperor. In 3, 2, 1, yeah, yeah, yeah. The game is over. Like, there's literally no way we can ever make a comeback from the... The third go for the throat. That was a little too much. Just a little too much. Just ever so slightly ever too much. I mean, yeah, it's a control deck and that is what they do, you know, but... Still, if somebody has the same card three times when they need it, it just feels bad. We're going first here. If we can find a land, we're good. If we don't, we're bad. So I will... Oh, my lord. I'm very happy that I changed my plan here. All right. All good. So, now we all we need is like a white source to be super happy. But I mean, from a two-lander to a two-lander, it is always the same. Oh, my soldiers. All right. So, we're going with the Gala Greeters here. Because why the freaking heck not? They will not block here. Like if they're blocking here, I would be very impressed. <laughs> very much impressed. Alright, either we draw a land here, which would be amazing, or we uh, just play the Gala Greeters here. So, we don't care because we have uh, the, the, the Lunark Veteran here. Or the Giada. Giada is also nice. I like that. And now we're making ourselves the treasure. Um, yeah, the treasure. And not attacking in. The Sky Strike Officer. All right, are you attacking in though? You are the Mad Lad, <laughs> but only with this. Okay, I was just about to say, man, that uh, that wouldn't be the bestest plan you ever had, my friends. It would not be. The freaking bestest plan that you ever had. Alright, we're gaining two life here, making our voice of the Blue Acid real big and strong. So it's a little bit saddening that you know we don't have um, an answer here, like a land would be very good. The mirror, well we can get rid of that, so I'm not that afraid, you know. Only ever so slightly mama hold me. Please give me a land here, game. Please give me a land. A white source, please. That ain't no freaking white source, is it now? I'm attacking it with you and with you. Alright, I like it. Let's get rid of this mural. Like once more, you know, two lands, nothing to scoff at, uh, it just ain't good enough. Just ain't freaking good enough. And they have all the advantage here, you know. I could go with the Lunark Veteran next turn and I will, uh, making myself another treasure. And I think that our voice of the blessed will be our win con here. Oh, just another Sky Strike Officer, why not? Okay, yeah, things are looking pretty good for you, aren't they, Mr. Mario? Aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. So, 
we're uh, we're just ever so slightly screwed, you know, ever so slightly. <laughs> There's like I cannot say anything, but we're just ever so slightly screwed here. Okay, all right. So, oh, now we find the land. Well, at least that is that, you know. At least that is freaking that. So I'm okay with that still, you know. Still a okay, my friends. Oh, what you gotta do? Draw your card. Let's uh, let's give him the little. I'm looking at you, my friend. So we need to get life here. Absolutely, there's no way around it. I will be losing life here anyways, but I'm gaining like a lot of life here. So I'm in, I'm still okay with that, you know. Me absolutely okay with that. And we can also start attacking in with our voice of the blue acid here, and I like that a lot. Dude, dude, just do it, just do it, you know. Just push the button. Let's get him a little car in here. <laughs> Why? Because it's okay to do so. So, and now we can uh, make ourselves the treasure. Now I really hope that we find something of value. Because, oh, you know what? Let's go with this. If we do draw an angel or something like that, we still have, like, you know, answers. So, and with this we can at least block some stuff. And I like that a lot. So, slamming in there now. The only thing that could really destroy us here is if they find the dude that um, gives all soldiers flying. That would utterly destroy us. Freaking utterly freaking destroy us. Alright. So, what you got here, my friend? The Brutal Cathar! Well, ain't that something? It ain't gonna happen, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. Now watch him have a counter spell. <laughs> would I be surprised? Not in the slightest. I would not be surprised in the slightest, you know? It would just just be very, very fitting on how this game is going, you know? Just very darn fitting on how this game is going. It cannot really be... How do we win here? This is six. This is one, two, three, four, five creatures attacking. Why? Why did you do this, my friend? They just gave us the win! They just gave us the win! Just like that! You know? Okay! Alright! Well, let us see here. I'm very confused. I'm very confused, man. Very freaking... And that was so confusing that I really don't know what happened here. I, I don't. I cannot even banter. I cannot even say something like, "Oh, soldiers, you lost your brain in the seas when you were sailing with your ship over here to get freaking destroyed, man!" I am the kraken. I am the kraken. You see, I I didn't find anything. Just nothing. Just nothing. Mm -mm. So we went from 97 or something to 1500. Where is my number, man? Where Su Han Yoon? Why do you have a number and I don't? Unfair. And the opponent's going first. Unfair. <laughs> oh, just unfair. And we're up against Mono Freaking Blue. Oh no. They're acting like they're Mono Red, but we all know they aren't. We all know they freaking aren't. Okay, we are attacking in here. And here comes a counter spell number one. Come on, play it. Play your counter spell. We both know you have it. Yup. All right. It's even a scatter ray. What in the darn nation, man? What in the 101 darn nations is this? All right. We go with the wedding announcement. They absolutely want to counter this one as well. There you go. Two counter spells gone, so. But they have a consider, of course, of course. <laughs> Mono Blue is in way too good of a spot right now. Way too good. I do not like it one singular bit. I mean, slowly but surely we're draining them down, you know. We go with the Steel Seraph here, maybe they don't have another counter spell. First for Discovery, ain't no counter spell. Ain't no freaking counter spell, my friend. Fading Hope? No? Alright, I like that. I really do like it. The Hardy Jin. Alright. Yeah, go ahead, Hardy. Go ahead. Hardy away. Party away. But let us see what we can find here. Endurance Angel. That is pretty good. 
We're given this vigilance or whatever, you know? We don't really care. No attacks. So what you got here, my friend? The fading hope now? Yeah, yeah. Just as expected. Just as I expected it. But we're gaining enough life to be, you know, happy with our life here. We're good enough, you know? Okay, go ahead. Are you kidding me, man? Are you freaking... I... Man, Mono Blue is just disgusting. Just freaking disgusting. Just oh so freaking disgusting. Please give me land here. Beautiful. I like that. Here we go with the Steel Seraph number one here. They will counter it. We all know they will. Come on, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. I know you are. Okay. All right. And now we can give this one life link. Because all we care about is, you know, gaining enough life to survive this. Now we go with the wedding announcement because if they do have a counter spell and they want to use it, hey, here you go. Oh, they don't even have it. Maybe, well, maybe they find one here and they will be able to play it thanks to the Hardy Gin. Did you find it? They did. Of course, of course. All right. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. You have to admit it is pretty ridiculous, you know, pretty much ridiculousness. Okay. All right. But I mean, we're still in here. We're still alive. You know, that is all that matters. And they're kind of out of cards, question mark. We're doing another one of these. Beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. We have another fading hope. Here it comes. Okay. Just, you know. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right. Mono blue, everybody. Mono freaking blue. Hey, who needs a good hand if you're just mono freaking blue? You know, we did not find any of our removals. Nothing. Just got gobbled up. Oh, now you're showing the numbers. Now the ones that I don't want to see. Get out of here. You know, after this game against mono blue getting shown the rank that I didn't want to see, we have to do one more. Oh my. All right, I like this hand. Even though we don't have the voice of the blue asset yet, but we might be getting there. This is already pretty good because, you know, 90% of the decks are mono right? So let's just, you know. Not pretend like they're not mono red. Do I have coffee left? I do. Mmm. Delicious. Freaking. Yeah, I told you. Did I not say these exact words? It's mono red. <laughs> Everybody's playing mono red. Everybody is. All right. If this survives for one single turn, I will be very, very happy. Very happy. Because then I can bring down the Sarah Paragon. And I don't think that they will have a good answer against that. And, uh, you know, even if it doesn't survive, we still have uh, another Giada. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, go ahead and do that, my friend. Yeah, I was expecting this to happen. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I was freaking expecting this to freaking happen. So, we're still fine, you know? We still have the freaking Tamiyo safekeeping, and that is all I care for. For now. For now. Could be better, could be worse. That's all I'm freaking saying. The Reckless Storm Seeker, eh? All right. Well, we're getting rid of that later. So, uh, am I blocking here? No, I'm not blocking. You can have that if you want to. You can freaking have it. I don't mind at all. Oh, this is just a perfect freaking draw here. So, I'm getting in there with the Giada. No, I'm tapping the Giada. Bringing out the Sarah Paragon. It's a 4-5, which is insanely good. Ending the turn. Now we still have the Tamiyo safekeeping, which is super darn good, because they will be like, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and just shoot this Sarah Paragon or whatever, you know? And we will be like, yeah, do that. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> I don't mind. So they're just Mono Red Haste Tribal. The worst tribal of them all. Okay, all right. How many more of those do you have, my friend? How many more? And the answer is yes. The answer is just an astounding freaking yes. So... I mean, this is good for them, you know? Not gonna lie about it. Um, but I can just do this. Which is still good enough. I will be keeping this, you know? You never know when you... Oh, I forgot that it will get exiled. Oh, no. Oh, Maloney. You forgot what the etching does, didn't you? 
Oh, this is super darn freaking good, though. This is super darn freaking good, though. We're getting rid of this Reckless Storm Seeker right away. Now we are attacking in with everything. Good. Real good. Uh, we're tapping down you. Bringing down a bigger Giada. Yes. But it's a 4-4 Giada. It is just better, you know? Just way freaking better. So, depending on what they have here, we just won. And I hope that we won. Would be pretty cool if we did. Alrighty. Okay. So this comes in as a 3-4. But what are you even going to do with it? Are you going to attack my friend? Are you? Oh, you will not like what I'm doing next here. So they will be attacking in here. One bajillion freaking percentile they will. Because they're just the way they, that Mono Red is. That is just the way Mono Red is. Okay. Alright. Blocking here like this. Bring down the time you're safekeeping and shabwam! Little spankity spank, my friend. Little freaking spankity spank. Okay, all right. So. <laughs> oh, Mono Red, get out of here. Now show me a number that I want to see. Game. Why are you messing with me like this? <laughs> I don't want to see the number. You're showing it to me. I want to see it. Go get out of here. All right, all right, all right. We're up against a pawn star. That is what they are. They're pawning people, and you know, that is all they do. We're going first. What is this, Kremis? My man. All right, we're uh, bringing down the overgrown farmhand here. And uh, then we're going with the Giada into Inspiring Overseer into Steel Seraphio. Now maybe we're going with the Steel Seraph before. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll, we will decide the moment we get there, you know? The moment we freaking get there. Just another Mono Red. Come on, people. There is other decks to play, you know? There is other freaking decks you could play. Just incredible. Oh, okay, okay. I shall eat my words. I shall eat my freaking words. Oh my, okay, all right. Okay, all right. So, I'm going with one of these right away. Why, game? Why? Why did you do this? Why? Please, please, why? Oh, my lord. Oh, my sweet lord. This is so whack, man. <laughs> this is so whack, game. Like, why? If I lose because of two damage, did you really think that I want this? Did you really think that? You must be mad, game. You must be freaking mad. All right, please don't do it again. Just a white here, a white here, a green here, keep in another green because you never freaking know. All right. So giving this one vigilance and lifelink. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> what in the darnation was that? What in the holy freaking spirit was that, man? So... They could have a burn down the house. If they do have a burn down the house, I will be a little disappointed. But only ever so slightly, you know? Really, game. Really. <laughs> I still cannot believe this. So this is 9, this is 11. Okay, alright. I can live with that for now. Are you attacking in, though? We'll just block, you know? I don't think that you have a lightning strike. Let's be honest here. But it's a Seth. Next turn we get him. You know, maybe. Hopefully. They threw away a freaking portal to Phyrexia. So, yeah. I hope that you're ready to rock and roll, my friend. Because rock and roll is real in this dojo. Ain't no party like a Maloney party. I like it looked off, but trust me, it wasn't. All right. We'll go with the Inspiring Overseer first. Maybe we even draw another angel. Maybe we do. Who knows? You freaking news. Oh, another land. So, given this one vigilance and uh, lifelink, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> that is absolutely what I wanted to do. So, if they are attacking in with their little token, I can still destroy it, you know? And I don't think that they have a way to bring back the portal to Phyrexia right away. I just don't think so. Like, they would have been down to five already here, just putting it out there, you know? Just putting it out there. Mmm, dessert. Holy smokes, game. I really don't understand why you did what you just did. 
I mean, a two damage here is way more important than a little wedding announcement creature. Just, just saying it as it is, you know? Alrighty. I will not even take the risk, you know? Not even freaking taking the risk. A burn down the house would still be brutal here. Still be freaking brutal. If they have it, they have it. If they don't, well, we're happy. Happy like a clown Charlie Brown. I mean, they should have it, you know? It's the kind of deck that really should have it, so... Yeah. But I didn't want to block and risk anything. I really didn't want to do that. If you give this, like, haste, do it, my friend. Do it. Give it haste. No way. No way, man. Oh. <laughs> Way! Way, man! Freaking way, man! What? How can you have these in here? Oh, my lord. Good god. I'm so happy that we still won here, you know? <laughs> so, game, finally show me some numbers that I'm ready to see! Oh, why are you treating me like this, game? Really, you're showing me when I see the numbers I don't want to see, but then you're doing this? Oh, game! Get freaking out of here. I really want to get back into the numbers. And that is what we're doing, my friend. We're up against Dona. Sansuna Dona. So we will see if we can... Oh, the opponent's going first. I do not like it. <laughs> but I like our hand here. And we're up against Mono Green. Oh, it's going to be enchantments, isn't it? No. All right. Yeah, I can live with that. Whatever you are, I'm ready for you, Dona. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I will be going here with the torrents. And uh, make my uh, Gala Greeters a little bit bigger. We really don't need a creature here. Uh, but I will be going with the Gala Greeters. I don't think that they have too much if I go too wide, you know? That is all I think here. Yogger of Autumn. Okay. Ooh. This is so nice, isn't it? So I'm going with the Gala Greeters first. Um, putting down the counter... And uh, getting myself what? Um, I think the treasure is all right. Now we're doing this once more. Yes! Oh, oh, we're going so wide. I love it. I really do love it. And we're putting a counter onto you as well. So, my friend, what are you going to... Exactly. Exactly. You know, they're just looking at me saying, hey, was this really turn four? Was this really their turn four? What was my turn four? And finally we got it, man! We are back! In the freaking numbers, baby! Where we belong! With the freaking life gain aggro of the century! Get out of here! We finally got shown the rank that we deserve, man! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as the making of this video, I can tell you that uh, I already recorded tomorrow's video and there will be some craziness. And uh, yeah, I lost some rank again because I tried another deck in between and it ain't. It wasn't good at all. So yeah, that one game against Mono Freaking Blue, did we have any chance? No. Did we ever have a chance at the beginning? No, we were just, you know, screwed from start to finish. Why am I rolling the R? Because I can. So yeah, I will be playing some Commander also tonight. So that is also pretty darn cool. And uh, yeah, I hope that I will be traveling some more this year to see all of these beautiful places in the world where there will be some magic played. Because I really plan on doing way more events than I have up until now. And we will see if that works out for us. I really hope it freaking a will. So yeah, if you are still here, thank you very freaking much. And hey, why not consider becoming a patron or a member? If you become at least a gold span dragon, you get this token and another token that I just can't find. Oh, there it is. There it is. These two zombified tokens can be yours. If you want to become one of these people on this beautiful list, I would appreciate it very much. But hey, always think of yourself freaking first. You know, and if you are still here, please, please let me know by putting down a little fist of the Meloniacs down below in the comments because that is what we were today. The fist of the Meloniacs. And please remember, please, my friend, if you're waking up tomorrow morning, see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.